In this video, I'm going to show you how to do interactive segmentation of remote sensing imagery with uh, the segment anything model 3. In the last video, I have covered how to do uh, the segmentation programmatically. You can check out this video. I also show how to do uh, video segmentation and object checking using uh, SAM3. But both of those tutorials, basically, you will need to write code to do things programmatically. And in this video, we're going to cover how to, we can do interactive segmentation. So you can open an imagery and then you can just uh, write some text prompt or you can select a bounding box on an object and then you can detect all the similar objects on the imagery. So uh, to follow through, you can um, go to the same geo website and on the upper left corner here, uh, go to examples and then scroll down to find same street. Uh, interactive so if you click this example you can download this one to a computer if you have same three installed on a computer or you can run this one using google collab so just open the google collab and then change the runtime type to uh, t4 gpu make sure you change to t4 gpu and then just click save after that uh, uncommon these two lines of code to install the, uh, the package then you should be ready to go Keep in mind here, we are using the transformers, install the transformers from GitHub. The reason for that is the uh, transformers package on PyPI is not up to date yet, so it doesn't include the same three in there. So that's why you need to install the latest uh, development version from uh, GitHub. And so once you install, then you can go through the, uh, the call. Also make sure you have access to the same three. If you don't have one, you can go to the Hugging Face page here, sign, sign, sign in to your account, then you can request access to the model. Um, it, it's free, but you need to sign up in order to get access. I have already done it, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly go through the steps, how we can get started and then do uh, interactive segmentation. So the first step is to import the uh, packages. So we can import the leaf map, we're doing like uh, interactive mapping, and then we also uh, import same three. First, let's download a sample data set. So this is the same imagery that we used uh, in the previous tutorial. Uh, it's a, a high resolution area imagery covering uh, UC Berkeley. After we have downloaded the imagery, then we can just um, create a leaf map and then add the raster. So this is what uh, it looks like. You can see we have some buildings, we have some trees, we have some roads and other uh, type of features. So how can we do the segmentation? So what we need to do is first to initialize the same stream model. Uh, by the way, so as I mentioned earlier, you need to sign up um, to request access uh, to the same stream model on Hugging Face. Once you have the model, then you can just initialize the same zero three model. And it's going to basically load the model into the GPU. Here, if you set GPU uh, device to none, it's going to uh, automatically detect your GPU. If you have the GPU, it's going to load it to the GPU. Otherwise, it's going to use the CPU. And if you want, I can open the terminal. So here, I can see uh, whether it is MV top. Um, you can look at the, my um, uh, GPU here. I have two GPU, uh, each one 16 gigabyte. Uh, you notice here the first one loading 3.77 gigabyte um, this is basically the size of the model is i think around 3.5 uh, gigabyte the same three model so it has been loaded uh, working properly once you load the model the next step is to set the imagery so what imagery you want to do the segmentation just one line of code set uh, image and that's it Although I have some other example here, you're welcome to try this one out, the text form, and then save the mask. But we don't, we, we don't really need that. We can directly go to the uh, interactive segmentation. So all we need to do is just come here, same three, show map, and that should be it. It's going to load the imagery into the uh, interactive map. And then upper right corner here, you will see this uh, panel allows you to um, write text prompt, or we can just draw bounding boxes. So first, let me show you, for example, if you want to use the text prompt, I can here just enter um, buildings or whatever you like, like buildings. You have two parameters you can adjust. The confidence threshold, basically, um, how confident you are with the result. 
the lower the you the more object you want to detect. The smaller the number, uh, the larger the number, that means the fewer number of objects you want to detect. So you're very selective or you are very relaxed. And um, for this case, we can just use the default settings. And for the mass threshold, it's basically how sharp you want the threshold to be. The higher the means is going to be sharper, that means you end up with the object might be a little bit smaller. So let's try with the first one, see how it goes. And just type buildings, click segment. And hopefully, you see, uh, just one to two seconds, now we have the result. And the color here, the color palette, this one is random. So you can choose whatever color palette you want. Uh, if I change to maybe another one, tab 22. Uh, tap uh, 20 if i segment again it's going to remove the previous data layer and then we segment so you can see uh all, all the buildings uh, have been segmented by just using a simple text prompt um, very very powerful so you don't really need to, like, to train your own model because this is a foundation model that can detect a, a, all kind of objects so um that means we set this one and remove the other way that you can do the uh, segmentation is to use a bounding box. So for example, here, I can just tell the program that, okay, let me draw a rectangle here around this building, okay? And that's it. So what we are telling SAM3 is that, okay, this is the sample building we want to detect. Please detect all the imagery, uh, all the buildings in this imagery. On the right here, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to enter the text prompt. Just click segment. And you're going to get very much similar result um, to the one that I show you uh, using the text prompt. So this one is using the visual prompt. Basically, you are giving an example, and then you can detect all the buildings. Uh, pretty nice. Of course, you can adjust the settings, but for buildings, uh, in this case, I, it looks pretty decent. So you don't need to adjust uh, the settings. And this is um, instant segmentation. Um, you can also, if you want, you can do the rectangularize, uh, and then click segment it will give the raster and also the vector uh, of course the vector the, it's kind of a little bit uh, zigzag it doesn't look very good you can refine it because the raster can be saved so you can click this save button and then select you will be able to basically choose the directory and then you can save the file for example mass if you click and then on the left side here you'll be able to find uh, the result the t uh, the geo tiff and also the geo package so you have, have both the raster and the vector uh, results together. Um, and so this is one way to do the uh, extract the buildings. Of course, it's not just for the buildings. The power of the same three model is that uh, you can do any prompting. So it doesn't have to be trees. Uh, that means, ah, it doesn't have to be buildings, for example. Uh, I already have the building um, vector. Let me recreate this one so that you can we can start from uh, scratch. So the next example I'm going to show you, for example, we can try uh, tree and then click segment. You notice here, uh, there are a lot of missing ones that are not being detected because um, you the, the confidence ratio is too high. So in this case, I can change it to a little bit smaller. Uh, of course, you're going to have some false positive if you have a very small uh, confidence ratio. Uh, but you can try with 0.2 around point two and let's see how it goes uh, it's getting better but still you can see a last page of, uh last page of trees that are not being detected uh, you can continue to move the threshold to even smaller if you want to but you also need to pay attention you might get a lot more other so for this case i don't know why this is not being detected but let's try the other way how about this right the trees it doesn't detect this one we can maybe uh, draw a rectangle here and then have somewhere here so telling the program okay this is the object i want to detect and let's see if it can detect some of those missing objects uh, it certainly gets uh, some of those um, missing one from the text prompt but i can also adjust this one to a smaller number and then click segment and now it looks much better so you can see we have um, detected most of the trees of course there are some still some smaller one here if you want, you can continue to adjust the threshold to a smaller number. See if we can improve. Oh, okay. So my GPU um, is out of memory. Uh, it's 12 gigabyte. If it, if it happens, you can just restart. So clear output and then you can restart. Uh, and let me show you quickly uh, the other things, like not just for building the trees. I want to show you the power that uh, you can actually detect 
a small subset object it doesn't have to be trees so um, let me reinitialize the model and then set the imagery then we can show the interactive map here okay and for the buildings right sometimes if you're interest, interested in just the rooftop we can also select a sample uh, bounding box okay so for example if i want to detect a rooftop like this you just select a rectangle um, and then just click segment you will see here and we have a couple of these uh, similar rooftops that have been extracted uh, you can try another one here maybe so if you're doing that programmatically you can add multiple bounding boxes uh, for right now for this interactive segmentation i only basically use the last one that you draw but if you like for example you want to extract all the rooftop together with this you can select multiple um oops interesting this one doesn't detect anything huh. it's supposed to be able to detect i think when i tried it earlier it was able to let me try this one one more time okay yeah so now you see i was able to detect i draw this one and then detect all the similar uh, rooftops uh, you can also try rows and other stuff for example here i can reset i can use the text prompt uh, row and then just click segment no mass okay maybe change to a smaller one all right so if i change the confidence threshold to a smaller number it was able to detect some of the rows of course the result is not perfect you're going to because if the instance segmentation it's going to mix some of the color and this is usually it's good for large objects for like complicated ones it's still kind of struggling so this is kind of the downside of using this uh, foundation models because it's not specifically trained to detect uh, rows uh, although you can do that but it give you some like preliminary results um and you can try out with some other prompts to see you can replace this one with your own imagery and to see if you can really detect the object that you want but as you can see from the demo here it's pretty fast and it's very responsive so it takes once you load the model and then set the imagery when you're doing the segmentation it takes only one or two seconds uh, usually much faster than other uh, traditional deep learning models so you can certainly use this one to explore what kind of prompts might be most suitable for detecting the features of your interest and um, and that's all i want to show you in this video uh, feel free to leave comments down below if you have any questions or you um, have any other feature requests i'm happy to implement uh, in the package and that's all um, hope you find it useful i'll see you in the next one